Welcome to Keys to KO, a brand new series. Today we'll be looking at how Naoya Inoue systematically destroyed Jason Maloney to retain his championship. As a pressure fighter, Inoue only wants his competitors moving one way, straight back. To make that happen against Maloney, Inoue first had to stop him from moving forward and destroy the notion that Maloney could be the aggressor. Maloney's gotta come in here and get some respect. He's gotta do it in a smart way. Time fighters like that. Oh, nice jab. From the first way he did this was to take away Maloney's jab, punishing him for even attempting to throw it. The counter he chose for this was a crossover right. Nice right counter hand. right. Like any good fighter, he tried other counters to see what would work, like a cross under uppercut. But those didn't have as much success, so the cross, it was. This was the first key to unlocking a devastating KO and Inoue got better and better at landing it as the rounds went on. But Maloney still tried to impose himself by pushing forward. After filling out the distance in round one, Inoue stopped moving back and decided to stand firm and fight at close range. When Maloney tried to tie him up and work off the clinch, Inoue worked his hands free and used hook and uppercut combinations to make him regret his decision. Well, double uppercut from Naoya Inoue. As he's bouncing, boom, 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 follow him out, why not? Generates power. Here it's speed oh. and, power. and power. Now what Inoue is doing is he's sunning him right now. He's walking him down. When Maloney tried to press him to throw, Inoue used tighter angles to counter. Here his uppercut did pay off, getting inside of Maloney's hook. Nice uppercut there with the right hand. And a pull away lead hook did the job against his close range rights. Inside, using his strength and he gets clipped by a left hook. Inoue's close range counters were the second step towards victory. And Maloney eventually got the hint that it was a bad idea to try and make Inoue move backwards. Came here to do. Ooh, left uppercut from now Inoue switches up and now you see the legs of Maloney a little wobbly as he continues with the attack. Big right hand from that Naoya right hand Inoue. hurt him right there. A short right hand hurt him, Bernardo. There's another short right hand from Naoya Inoue. He's shocked by what he's in there with right now. He's a tough kid. He's, he's gonna try to fight it out as long as he can, but he's dealing with something that he's never nice. been in the ring with. Nice. Oh, nice body shot from. Inoue, he needs to be in the inside, inside the trenches, he, but he needs to be careful because Inoue would set him up with a counter. He'll look to punch in between. His he went to circle inside instead, which is a great tactic if you hope to outbox your opponent. But this wasn't what Inoue wanted either. He wanted to route Maloney and force a full-on retreat. So he punished him for circling with left head hooks and body jabs. He's a better boxer. He's he right. For 12 rounds tonight, they really do want to hurt each other. And version, he's only been down to the second world title offer the fighter makes. But the question is, can the opponent do anything about it? Or if they're going to have the courage to just to hurt business, whatever type of moniker you... By moving off center, Maloney could hope to create angles for his jab. And line his right up down the middle. A very common tactic. But in a way, destroyed Maloney's attempts at one-two combos with lead hooks beating his cross. Oh, nice hey! He is finding home for his right hand occasionally. There you see. And if Maloney was looking to open up in a way, he was opening up himself as well. It was stepping off line like this that was exposing him to lead head hooks and body jabs, even when he wasn't throwing anything at all. Unable to press forward or circle, and with his own offense shut down, Maloney could do nothing but back up or stand in front of in way by the fifth. Either way, the monster was able to unload solid combinations and get his own offense working at full capacity. This would ultimately be the final nail in the coffin. Frustrated, Maloney got dirty, trying to headlock in a way and dirty box him. But Nooya kept his cool and drove him back even harder in the sixth. Beaten and overwhelmed, all his best tools taken from him, 
Maloney desperately tried to battle off the ropes, and a hard counter hook sent him to the canvas. Here the thoughts that oh! shot right down here. goes Maloney on a quick counter. Inouye once again stayed composed, expertly pressuring Maloney back to the ropes. Rather than throw at high volume and potentially get caught or tire himself out, Inouye was clearly looking to counter, which is really smart because rather than rushing and going berserk, he went with what he 100% knew was working. There's a big left from now. Yeah, Inouye follows it up with the right hand. And just the demeanor of Jason Maloney is continuing to change as Inouye finds that confidence level and that range. Body language is screaming that he's in control and Maloney is in survival mode right now. Big shot early in the round. Oh and he lands goodness. cleanly there with that right. Deal with, oh, these are big heavy shots coming, coming in on. He even lowered his hands to draw more punches. The next round, I'll probably end up stopping his match. I mean, he's taking a beating and I want to save him for the rest of his career. Well, you gotta do the math. How many rounds has he won? Does he have the power to stop in a way? He kept this same patient mentality in the seventh, and it really paid off. Sticking to jabs and the same counters to the same punches that had worked thus far, in a way hit home with a monster counter cross off the jab. As round seven. Oh, the big right hand from Naoya Inouye. The same counter he had found to work back in the first round and that he drills religiously in camp. As Maloney was turning into a follow-up cross when he got hit, he added the force of his own movement to Inoue's punch. When the monster catches you moving into his shot, there is no getting up from that. Six, seven, eight. It's over. It is over. Now, oh yeah, the monster Inoue on Halloween night knocks out Jason Mayhem Maloney. This fight was a terrific example of how a talented pressure fighter can set the tone by taking away their opponent's punches. And since Maloney kept fighting back, Inoue could just keep using counters rather than switch into full pressure mode. If Maloney had completely wilted, as many of Inoue's opponents do, then Inoue could have kept throwing longer combinations until he overwhelmed him with volume and broke through his guard. Either way, once the competitor is unable to punch without being punished for it, the fight's pretty much over. There's nothing left at that point but to defend. And against Inoue, you could only do that for so long. Let me know for any more suggestions you have for these quick point-by-point -point recaps. You can check out my books on techniques and tactics linked below, as well as our martial arts comic, Mortal Weapons. Or you could come chat with me on Discord. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian wishing you happy training.